Have you ever wondered how to hit a double end bag and look like a pro? And also, why do we hit the double end bag? Well, on this video, I'm gonna give you everything you need to know about hitting one of these things. I've made this video very easy for you to navigate through with the bar at the bottom. So whatever you wanna work on, whether it's the basics, defense, combination punches, just go to that part of the video and I'll show you right there. I recommend you send yourself this video in an email so the next time you wanna do a double end bag workout, you can go to the workout section and learn all about that as well. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing, showing you how to punch harder, how to punch faster, get better footwork, better reactions. I show you how to hit a double end bag when you're not even looking at it like this right here. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for more videos like this, and let's just get straight into it. Now what are these for? Why should we use them? What's the difference between these and a heavy bag? Well, as you can see, these are a lot harder to hit. They move around a lot. And if you're hitting something that's moving, it's more realistic. It's gonna help improve your reaction speed. And as well, what's huge for these is your timing. And in boxing, we all want good timing, especially if we're competing or we're sparring, you need to have good timing. Even if you're boxing for fitness, you also wanna have great timing as well for every day of life. You might be about to get into a car accident. If your timing's good, you can hit them brakes faster. Anyway, that's for another video. So anyway, these are great for your reaction speed, your hand speed, for your brain, great to train your brain with this thing. So I highly recommend them. I used to absolutely love using these when I was a young up and coming boxer. That's how I got pretty good at it. And you wanna tie it to something solid up the top. I've done it to the beam in my studio here, and then something solid in the bottom. You can drill a hole in the floor and do it like I've did it, or you can use a heavy dumbbell or something that's very weighted, so when you do punch it, it doesn't move around. How tall should your double end bag be? Well, I don't really like to have it at my head height. I like to have it a little bit lower than my head, just up to my chin. I think that's the perfect height for one of these. You can have it higher, you can have it lower, but I'm not a fan of that. Also, how tight should you have it? Well, the tighter you've got this double end bag, the faster it will be. This is pretty tight. So when I hit it, you can see it's moving fast like that. If it was loose, it would be a lot slower. So you could have it a little bit looser to start off with if you want, and that will make it a lot easier to hit and get used to, but I would recommend keeping it pretty tight and keeping it pretty fast and getting used to it from the start being fast. Now, what size should the ball actually be? Because you can get the bigger ones, you can get the much smaller ones that you might have seen, and then you can get this one here, which is the medium size. The smaller ones is a lot harder, but they're good for reactions. I'm not a big fan of them. The bigger one, you can hit them a lot harder, easier to hit and throw like longer combinations on them, and they're great for single shots or throwing like a nice one, two on there. But the medium size, this size is perfect for them all. You can go fast and you can throw hard punches and you can throw combinations, where I'm gonna show you later on in the video. This is actually the perfect size. And I got that made for this for that reason. And if you want one of these exact balls, I'm gonna be giving two of them away to some of my viewers on here. Click the link below, drop your email, and I'm gonna be sending two random people, one of these each, and it's gonna be signed as well. Okay, let's move on to the basics. How do I hit this thing like a professional? But before you hit it, like a professional before you can hit it without looking at it like I showed you earlier on <laughs> you've got to learn the basics now I understand if you go into a gym and you see one of these things it can be pretty intimidating to hit because you might hit it once and then it goes flying like that and then you try and hit it again and you'll start missing it when people do that they think oh my god that's so hard I'm not going to try that again but there's a few things that you've got to do to be able to simplify it, to be able to make it work for you. And the first thing is, is how hard do you hit it? I'll see people coming up the gym and they'll be like, boom. They'll be like, whoa, it's it moving too fast. No, when you're starting off on one of these things, you've got to hit it softly. The softer you hit it, the slower it'll go. The faster you hit it, the faster it'll go. I'm gonna get in my boxing stance position and I'm just gonna throw a light jab and see where it moves. Now I'm seeing that it's moving backwards and forwards again. Now, one thing I wanna talk about when you are starting off with one of these is you need to kind of forget about perfect form all the time because we wanna get used to the timing. Now, if I was going for perfect form on this and a good solid jab, watch what would happen. And it's much harder. So instead, because we're just working on timing, we can always pick up the good form later, we're just gonna hit it softly here. 
there, nice and light. Once I hit it a few times with my left hand, I can see it's coming straight back. I'm getting used to throwing that. Then I can throw the right hand, but again, I'm not gonna be turning, fully extending, exhaling it, and really looking for that big power shot. It's just a, a touch. So I'm here, getting used to it. See, I'm not even fully extending. So I'm thinking about the timing, getting my brain familiar with the timing. And this is what's gonna help you later on with being able to punch it and not looking at it. So I'm here, getting used to the timing, seeing when it's gonna come back, nice and softly. Then from there, I've got used to the right hand. Now I can put them two together, do a left, right, a one, two, short punches. There, now you can see I'm not turning my hips. I'm not really doing correct form. But again, this is just getting used to that timing. Yeah, and I can get a little bit faster, but start off really slow, really slow at first. That is the key here. Because if you can't hit it lightly, you're never gonna be able to hit it hard. Now, once you've mastered the light one, two, then what I would like you to go on to is a one, one, two. So it's gonna be a bum, 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 jab, jab, cross. But again, little punches, I'm here, ba, ba, ba. Little punches. Touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch, touch. Yes, there, now you can see. Now I'm starting to get the timing down. Ba, ba, ba. And that's what you want, but you're gonna miss it. The way I'm showing you right now, because I've got a ton of experience on this, makes it look easy. You might not be able to get it as fast as I've just got it there. You're probably not if you're brand new to it, but the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. Now, once you've done the basics, the jab, the cross, the one, two, the one, one, two. Now, what I wanted you to do before you move on to the ba -ba, before we move on to the big fully extended punches and the combination punch, what we're going to get onto in a little bit, is throw a one, two hook. When you throw a one, two hook on this thing, boom, boom, boom you're kind of changing the direction of the ball. From that one, two, if it's a good straight one, two, the ball should be coming straight back to you. So here, boom, boom. See, it's in that perfect straight line there. If I do it from this angle here, one, two, boom, boom. Look, the ball is going directly in front of me. It's a straight shot. So when you're doing this, you know, that's what you should be aiming for. But now, like I said, we're gonna throw a hook. Now that this is the hard, a hard thing to do because the timing's off. So we're just gonna do short punches. We're gonna actually do a one, two, hook, two. Because after that hook, the ball's in the perfect position to throw a two. So it's gonna be like a four punch combination. So it's gonna be a ba, 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 ba. And it kind of puts the ball back in the position to throw it again. Ba, 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 ba. Because if I throw a one, two hook, the ball goes miles away. Like now, it's hard to get that under control if you're new at this. So if you throw the one, two, hook, two, it's easy to keep it under control. So I'm here, ba, 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 ba. Yes, and then I go again, ba, 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 ba. And as you can see, it's getting faster. I'm still punching the light, but it's getting faster. Ba, 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 ba. It's the one, two, hook, two. Well, what about feet and your movement? Well, when you're just starting off, you can keep your feet planted through the ba, 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 ba. Then you can move around, move around, move around, come back to it, ba, 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 ba. Move around, move around. But plant your feet and then throw the punches at first. I'm gonna show you lots of footwork stuff in a little bit on this video. But yeah, that is kind of the basics of this. And again, the basics is just to get your timing down. Get your mind used to knowing where the ball goes. And the more you do it, the more you'll be able to do it without even having to think about it. So now I'm gonna throw good punches. Now the ball's going faster. You see? And because I've done this for so long and I'm used to it, I know exactly where it's gonna come. Bah, 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 bah. And that's what you can do there. You can work on some jabs, fun hard jabs, multiple jabs, just to get used to that timing. Bah, bah. See, now I've got the timing down. That's why I can look at the screen because the timing, I know with the sound where the ball's gonna come. The ball's coming straight back to my hand. Now, if you think about it, if you're punching straight, you know where it's gonna come. You've only got to stick your arm out and it's gonna hit your hand. So that's why I can turn away from the ball. So now we've got some solid jabs down. Now we can work on some crosses. Now I'm turning my hips and following through. Now you want to be hitting the ball when it comes back to you. So when you're watching this in slow motion, you can see the ball is coming back and that's when I'm hitting it. I don't want to hit the ball when it's moving away from us, but when it's moving into us. And that's where you get the clean hits on this thing. So now we've mastered the two. Now we're going to put them together with a nice solid one, two. <laughs> Same thing applies. <laughs> I know where it's coming back to. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to that one, two, hook, two combination. Now with this one, it gets a little bit tricky because if you throw that, bah, 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 that one, two, hook hard and fast, the ball's going to be going everywhere. So you might have to time that last 
punch. But the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. So I'm here. I love that one. That's a combination that impresses other people in the gym when you're throwing that hard and fast. So now we've built up a little bit more advanced, some very basic combination, but what about defense? How do you defend using this? Well, there's a couple of ways. The first way, just like you do on a heavy bag where you're punching and then you're moving after. So I'm moving here, which we always should be doing anyway to get better at boxing moving, but it's not coming to hit my head. For you to be able to actually really move out the way of this guy, you need to get closer. You need to get your feet closer. If I'm here and I throw a solid one, two, I don't have to move anywhere. But if I'm here and I throw that good one, two, I've got to move out the way or it's going to hit me in the face. And the last thing that I want when I'm doing this video is to get a bloody nose of a double end bag when I'm trying to impress you guys. So yeah, don't get hit in the face of it, but it could happen. That's why you've got to be fast. That's why these things are so good because you could get hit in the face and I'll hit it. I'll slip. And as you're seeing there in slow motion here, you see when I'm slipping, the ball is hitting my shoulder. And that is because I'm taking my head off the center line. And if I didn't slip, it would hit me straight in the face. So that's great for you to work on at first. Just a one, two, slip. Or you can do a one, two, one, two, slip to your right. One, two, slip to your left. Then once you've started doing that, you can start doing some freestyle stuff where I might do like a jab, slip, jab, slip. <laughs> And as you can see here, I'm slipping as the ball's coming straight from my face, slipping left, slipping right, getting used to moving that head. Now, before we move on to the combinations, if you want to win one of these, click the link below, drop your email, and that will enter you into a draw where I'm going to be randomly picking two people to win one of these that will be signed by me. So and yeah, you might be getting one of these in the post. Now we've worked on the basics, some advanced punches, some hard punches, some Defense as well. Now let's move on to the combination punches. Throwing a combination on this guy is pretty tricky, but you can do it. Believe me, after watching this, you will be able to throw these combinations. So what combinations should you throw? Well, a combination I used to love to throw is a one, two, one, one, two, keeping it straight. And this is more basic because we know the punches are going straight. So the ball's going to come straight to us. So one, two, one, one, two, <laughs> again. Woo, nice combo. And you see, it looks pretty impressive because it is fast and the ball's coming and you've got to hit it fast to catch the ball on the way back. When you're first working on that combination, start slow. One, two, one, one, two. Get used to the timing. Forget about your good form here because we want to learn the timing rather than good form. So I'm here, one, two, one, one, two. One, two, one, one, two. Getting that timing down. Now I think I've got the timing, then you can pick it up. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Now moving on to our next combination we're going to throw, we're going to add in a defensive move. And this one's going to be a 1-1-2, one, one, slip 2. So it's here. 1-1-2, ba, 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 ba. One, one, slip 2. Now if you come close to it, after that 2, you've got to get out of the way of the ball. So we were using them defences that we worked on in the last section. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. And then what we can do from there, we can add a hook on the end. So now we're going to do a 1-1-2, one, one, slip 2, hook. And now because we have worked on the one, two, hook. We should know where that ball is going to be when we throw this punch. So, one, one, two, slip, two, hook. <laughs> yeah, the ball's going crazy. So let's add that two on the end. One, one, two, slip, two, hook, two. Look at that. That's a six punch combination. Six punches, defensive move on a double end bag. Let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, feels good. One, one, two, slip, two, hook, two. Hard combo to throw. Now the last combo I'm going to show you on this is going to be non-stop punching. It's kind of a great tool for working out. And it's not kind of a combo that you would use in the fight unless you've got someone against the ropes. It's just like punching left, right, left, right. So to do this, you want to start slow. Bum, bum, bum. And now I'm getting the rhythm, getting used to where it's going to go. Now, because I've got that timing, I can look at you and I can talk to you. And then I can punch harder, then harder. And again, because I've got that rhythm, I don't even have to look. I can close my eyes like this because you've got that rhythm. 
Yeah, that's a great combo that you can do, you can work on helping with your timing, but also helping with your stamina. Okay, now footwork, getting that good footwork in the bag while you're punching the bag. How do you do this? Well, it's pretty advanced, but before I get onto this and show you these great techniques, I just want to tell you about a supplement company that I absolutely love, and this is Onnit. Onnit have got so many great products for post-workout, for pre-workout, for your recovery. Things that help support your mind and your focus. And what they're doing for all my subscribers is giving you 10% off everything on their website. Go to onnit.com forward slash boxing and get 10% off their entire website. Click the link below, onnit.com forward slash boxing, and I guarantee you that you're going to love everything that they sell. It is legit. Okay, now, this fancy footwork stuff. How do we do it? How do we do the alley shuffle and hit the back at the same time? Well, we're not going to be doing that today. That's actually the first time I've ever done that, and it worked, so maybe I'll do a video on that later on. Not really. <laughs> so, this footwork. We always want to have good form technique if we're on a bag, if we're on the ball, if we're in the ring, if we're shadow boxing. Whatever we're doing, footwork is so important. So, what do you want to do? Well, you want to keep your feet apart all the time, hands up when you're moving. So, I just want to compare with you with standard crappy footwork to great footwork. We're going to go side by side here and you will be able to see the difference. And this is what most people do on the heavy bag. They'll be stepping round, flat footed, throwing slow crappy punches. You don't want to be like that. Now compare that with good footwork. As you can see here, I'm on my toes, I'm moving around, I look a lot more athletic, I look a lot more like a real professional boxer. My punches are faster because my feet are faster, and because my feet are faster, my defense is faster as well. So that's it right there, on your toes, moving around. When you step, you can punch at the same time. So if I throw a one, one, two, I can step and punch. Step, 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 it'll look like this. See, I'm in and out with the feet, again, here. Yeah, moving around all the time. Now, you might be thinking, yes, Tony, that burns so much energy. If I do that all the time, well, guess what? You're right. It does burn energy, but you want to condition yourself to be able to do that all the time. I've done a full video on this channel where I talk about how you can be as sharp in the first 30 seconds of the first round to the last 30 seconds in the last round by building your stamina. Click the link below. Watch that video after this where I show you how to build your stamina in boxing. Once you've built your stamina, you will be able to do that all day long. It's just all about conditioning. And if you can do that, all day long, well, maybe not all day, but if you can do that for your full session, you're going to look a million dollars in the gym. Now moving on to workouts. What workouts can you do on this? Well, this is great to mix in with your heavy bag work. The heavy bag's got so many benefits to it, like you can punch it hard, you can throw like body punches, head punches, which is great that you can't do on this guy. So you don't want to just totally avoid the heavy bag just to play on this because it's a little bit more fun when you start getting used to it and getting more creative. But yeah, split the session up. I would do heavy bag and I would do ball. Or if you want, when you're getting used to this at first, you know, spend three, four, five, six rounds on the ball working on the basics of this video when I showed you how to punch light. Work on that stuff to get your timing right because it's all about timing. And the good thing about this is it's like riding a bike. Once you get that timing, it stays with you forever. If you've got access to it, definitely use it as much as you can. Also, try and practice this combination here where you're just punching the bag non-stop. This is going to really help with your timing and give you a great workout as well. So for the last 20 seconds of a round, try and get this going and that's going to be a great extension of your workout and the last thing i want to add about the workout is if you're punching this hard and fast moving your feet moving your head doing everything that you should be doing you're going to get a very very good high intensity workout that's going to help improve your overall stamina your timing your endurance your brain functioning your footwork your core, everything, if you're doing everything correctly. So what's next? Well, before I tell you exactly what you should be doing next, I just want to tell you about this. If you want to get one of these guys, these authentic boxing double-end bag bags, I'm going to be picking two people at random and sending them one of these double-end bags. I'm going to sign it as well. Click the link below and enter your email there to get one of them. I'm not going to spam you or anything like that. Okay, so what's next for you to improve on this? If you haven't already mastered your shadow, Shadow boxing, do that before you do this. Now, to master your shadow boxing, click here and see my ultimate guide to shadow boxing. Click here now and go through this video. I'm sure you'll love it.